Feeling a little art craft crazy? Hi, I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy and today I'm going to show you how I made this clear pouch envelope. Now I've used the plastic that comes on your packaging when you buy a new set of sheets. They sort of look like this. So you've got plenty to work with. So you've got a front and a back. So just cut around and you've got a lot of um, vinyl that you can reuse. I've got quite a few pieces and you know what I'm talking about. They're these, you know, they've got the sheets wrapped around the cardboard case and they just go in the packaging like that. So if you've got any of them or someone gives you something or you know where they are, you can get a hold of them. But if you don't have them, you can buy this clear vinyl. Um, it Sometimes it's heavier, they have it in different weights, but you can buy it. In Australia, we get it from Spotlight. So that's what I've used to make this pouch. You don't need a pattern, but for anybody that um, is not used to just cutting things out randomly, I have made a pattern for you. It is a very simple shape. One piece, that becomes your front, that becomes your back, and that is the flap that folds over here. Now, I use a hole punch to get my one inch circles. So if you see here, you can just see them. I've got clear one inch buttons. So I made them into buttons. I've cut two little holes in the center and that is so that I can sew the thread through or tie the thread through. So I just tied it there like that. So you need two pieces of thread, the, the um, thread, whatever thread you're using, and you punch two holes there, punch two holes in your button, and then that becomes your little tie. Now I cut, I printed directly onto 300 GSM cardstock to create my pattern. But if your printer won't take that, just print it out on normal paper and then trace around that onto some heavy cardstock. So you've got a pattern there for a little length of time. The instruction sheet here is smaller but there's no reason why you couldn't use this for a pattern as well but you can make this in any size you like um, all you do is just measure your vinyl however it fits and if you want something smaller that way you just cut it out into an oblong shape and then round one end of the corners and then as you fold it over it'll be whatever size it will be this here is a sticker on mine, but just say you've got a print on it, just use a little fingernail polish remover or something along those lines to remove that print. Right, now I'd like to show you the embroidery thread that I used to make my ties and to stitch around the edge of the, the pouch. I've actually sewn this on my sewing machine. All right. It looks pretty good, so I'll show you how I've done that. Uh, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can certainly just hand sew a straight stitch around this. A needle will go through this vinyl very easy. What I've used is normal cotton embroidery thread. Uh, every country calls it a different name, but it's in several strands, but I did not separate the strands. I also, tea dyed these. I just dyed that, I just plonked it straight in the tea like that. So I get this nice look and if you wanted to, I made these this tutorial last week so if you want to have a look at how I made these little spools they're out of recycled cereal boxes. So this particular size fits four of these in. I've just got three here to show you but it does fit four of these little spools in this pouch. Now what you've got to do in preparation if you sew this on your sewing machine is remove the thread off your bobbin, your normal thread, and replace it with this thread. Just hold 
the thread on with one finger and twist it around. So I've just caught that thread. All right now I'm going to put it back on the bobbin threader and I'm just going to start hand spinning it around. And just give it a little bit of tension. If you're a sewer you'll know what I mean. Just give it a little bit of tension so that it's not loose on this bobbin. You don't want it tight and you don't want it loose. And the straight stitch gives you a bit of a, a chain stitch. It looks like a chain stitch when it sews. So you just put your bobbin in as normal into its little spot there. Click it into place. Have your thread hanging out there like that. You've got this thread here. So we're going to hand wind the needle down. Pull that up. See how the bobbin's now... Uh, the top thread has pulled the bobbin thread up just as you normally would get your bobbin thread up to the top of your machine and have it hanging out the side like that. Right, now I'm going to go on the straight stitch here. This is the length of my stitch. I'm going to increase my length just over three. When you finish sewing, your needle comes up out of your material. I want it to, I'm going to push this button so that the needle is going to remain down in the material on my last stitch. I'll show you how I do the buttons. They're just one inch of the clear plastic. Just fold that in half. I'm going to put the hole right here using this little punch. So line it up to the middle and we've only just got to, once you find where your middle is, you've only just got to come out ever so slightly from that fold line there. Punch through both pieces and then when I straighten it back out I've got myself a little buttonhole because we need two. I'm going to put my button about three inches down here from the front flap and I'm going to do this before I sew my pouch up. It's just easier. And I'm going to work out where my fold line is going to be. So that's going to be my centre there and that line there. And I'm going to come down three inches. That's where I'll set my lowest button there. So I'm using my straight line on the board as a guide. I'll lift that up and poke a hole through there and there. Push the thread in from the inside because I need it to finish on the outside of the pouch. One in each hole. Even up the thread and then put the button hole and then put the button on. One in each hole again. Tie a knot. And I want that to come up to the top a bit. And double that knot. And that's good to go. Now what I also do is I like to twist the threads together. You don't have to do this but it, it does make it easier to tie up when you're um, putting the, the pouch together. So I just do a crossover, crossover, twist. One over the other. And keep going all the way to the end. It is, it is best to pull it this way towards the top of the bag because that's the way I want it to lay. So it's sort of training it to lay this way. 
All right. We'll leave a little bit at the end because I want it to sort of form a fringe. So just skew that around. A tip is to get this through easy is to use your skewer or your pokey tool. Just easier than your fingers. And then trim them both together to form a fringe. And that's it. So now when it comes back this way, that's how it's going to sew, uh, tie up. This comes over here and we'll put that in place there. I'll put that button on when I finish sewing here and then it'll be exactly the same. So I'll come back and do that one after I sew. Now to start sewing, just put your pouch wrong side up and do a back stitch. So come a bit forward from the top of the pouch opening and sew in reverse back to the to the end of the line. Then release your reverse and sew forward again. So all the way down the side. When you get to the bottom, because we've set the needle to stop in your work, just lift your foot and turn your work around using the needle as you pivot. So across the bottom. Same again when you get to the end, just go nice and slow, stop with your needle down in your work and sew back up the other side. Just sew to the edge of the pocket opening again and reverse. Pull out your work, snip it off. All that's left to do is cut those loose threads off and you can cut them pretty close to the stitching. Now I've sewn around the pouch, I'm going to turn it over and stitch around the flap. Same applies, start in reverse and then sew forward. That just reinforces your stitching. I've just used a, a straight edge instead of a round corner, I've cut them off diagonally just to show you the difference here. The reason for turning the pouch over is like I said to you before, if you don't do that, your stitches won't match and it'll be on the wrong side. So pivot it around. So down that last little bit. When you get to the end, just reverse a few stitches and that'll stop the threads from coming unraveled. Then go and trim it again. And when you fold the flap over, now it matches the front. So you've got your decorative stitch facing you all the time. You could sew this using plain threads. You don't have to put the embroidery thread in if you just want to use a dark brown or a black thread, this looks pretty nice as well. I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy. Thanks for watching and bye for now.